This is your CBSLA.com News Brief. Hello, everybody. I'm Elsa Ramon. Here's what's happening around the Southland. Sheriff's officials say an accomplice picked up the Orange County inmates after their jail escape last month. The men changed their appearance, kidnapped a cabbie at gunpoint, went shopping at Target, and stole a van. They stayed at Rosemead Hotel for three days, then drove to San Jose. Those escapees fought about whether to kill their taxi driver hostage. The cabbie and Buck Duong eventually drove back to Orange County. Duong surrendered Friday. The other two were caught Saturday in San Francisco. The Carson mom who killed her three little girls was sentenced, sentenced rather today to life without parole. In 2014, Carol Coronado slashed the throats of her infant and toddler daughters. Her lawyers claim Coronado had postpartum psychosis. Today, crews lowered a tunnel boring machine that will help build a subway line through South LA. Metro held a contest for students to name that machine and the winner, Harriet Tubman. She's the Underground Railroad conductor who helped hundreds of slaves reach freedom. A $63 million Super Lotto Plus jackpot is about to go unclaimed. That ticket was sold at a 7-Eleven on Lassen Street in Chatsworth last August. The winner has until Thursday to claim that prize or lose the money. For the latest on these stories and your news any time of the day, go to CBSLA.com. Hello, everybody. I'm CBS meteorologist Rich Fields. After a stormy weekend, at least a stormy Sunday, we cleared out fairly decently, but on the backside of the low, very gusty and cold winds. We only hit a daytime high downtown today at 57 degrees. That's 11 degrees below normal for this time of the year. Still seeing a little wraparound flow, especially for some of the higher elevations of the mountains. I'll pop in the current Doppler radar. Nothing sticking to the ground, that's for sure. But we've got uh, watches and warnings to talk about high wind advisories through tonight, frost advisories through tonight, high surf advisories as well. Mostly clear, though. 42 for the overnight low downtown, much cooler elsewhere. Let's roll out the extended outlook for the next seven days. LA and OC Metro, sunny skies tomorrow, 64 for the high. That's well below normal, 61 for the beaches. Valleys at about 62. By the time the latter part of the weekend rolls around, we're talking mid and upper 70s across the board. That's a look at your forecast. I'm Gary Miller with Sports, and they got around to the final round of the Farmers Insurance Open this morning at Torrey Pines after heavy weather washed out the rest of it on Sunday. Brad Snedeker did finish his round on Sunday with a 69, then had to wait around all day to see that South Korea's KJ Choi would finish one shot behind him. Snedeker wins his second Torrey Pines title. And for the first time in more than eight years, Duke is out of the top 25 of the AP basketball rankings. You can get the latest sports headlines on CBSLA.com. Also, the Super Bowl countdown clock says five days now until Super Bowl 50, Carolina versus Denver, and you can only see the game on CBS2. Immediately following CBS2 News at 11, watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Tonight's guests are actors John Travolta and Courtney B. Vance, along with stereotyping and discrimination expert Amy Cuddy and musician John Moreland. Watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert tonight at 11.35 on CBS2. That is your CBSLA.com news brief. CBSLA.com is where we're always on. Click Listen Live to hear KNX News Radio and our other stations anywhere you are.